Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for upcoming schedules and content and on social media at Varsity Media. City Media offers live streaming, videography, and photography services for all teams and individuals of all ages. In business since 2010, we are the trusted source when it comes to sports media coverage. If you have a big game that needs to be filmed or live streamed, or an athlete in need of action photography, reach out today and save 15% when you mention this ad. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. The Long Island Lacrosse Showcase has been the premier recruiting event in the nation for over a decade. Led by high school coaches in Nassau and Suffolk counties, our event annually draws the biggest and best college coaches. Past participants and MVPs have been Joey Spelina, Mac O'Keefe, and Xavier Arline. Registration is now open for this must-attend summer event. Register now at lilacshowcase.com and follow us on Instagram at lilacshowcase. And coming this fall, for the first time, our Girls Showcase. It's an after-school special in Nassau County. Beth Page High School is the place to be for today's Girls Lacrosse Conference 2 matchup featuring the Port Washington Vikings and the Beth Page Golden Eagles. Today's broadcast is sponsored by Syosset Hospital, Northwell Health. And a pleasant good afternoon, everybody. I'm John Perez. Thank you so much for making us a part of your Monday afternoon and the rain is cleared the sun is out beautiful day for lacrosse at Beth Page and we've got a good one here today a battle in conference two in Nassau as Port Washington comes into this game after scoring 19 goals in their 1917 victory over Plain Edge just a couple of days ago they had their weekend game uh washed out so plain edge uh their last victory as port washington looks for their fifth win of the season and the vikings come in rolling you mentioned that 19 goal outspurt they outscored plain edge eight to six in the second half to pick up their fourth win of the year as they're led by pam giordano and let's meet our two impact players today natalie DeMeo, the future hofstra pride lacrosse player is going to be the one to watch today for Port Washington, 15 points on the season, 14 of those goals as she will stay home on Long Island after her career ends at Port Washington. Meanwhile, on the other side, it's Sienna Fox, the Binghamton commit. She also has north of 30 points on the season. Fox, somebody who is so crafty, can switch hands and can shoot with the best of them. And there you see the 35 points on the year for the future Binghamton commit. So that's DeMeo and Fox. Let's meet the rest of the lineup for Port Washington, led by Pam Giordano. It's Maggie and SB Cassidy. The sisters, Ella Kane, lead the attack. The midfielders, Catherine Carmen with Lily Capobianco and Natalie DeMeo. Jillian Leftcourt, Bridget LaRosa, and Taylor Shore round out the defense for Port Washington as they'll send out their first-year goalkeeper, Hayes Hassett, who is brand new to the position, but she's got the footwork. The freshman with 68 saves on the season and came up clutch in the win over Plain Edge just a couple of days ago. She'll have her work cut out for her today against a Beth Page Golden Eagles team that's coming off a 12-5 win over Carl Place just a few days ago. Uh, the Golden Eagles 3-1 in conference, 2-5-4 overall. And let's meet their impact players today and two players that certainly a lot of fun to watch. Brianna Wenling, 
the midfielder that can do it all. She's somebody that connects the offense to the defense. Seven points on the year, the future Loyola commit. And then you've got Juliana Talenti leading the way with 20 points. One of two Mercy commits for Alyssa Kildare's crew. So that's Wendling and Talenti. And the rest of the starting lineup for Beth Page goes as follow. Madison Traverso with Talenti and Caroline O'Connell up top. Nicole Ducks along with Grace Miller and Mary Kate Moraki in the midfield. Emily Herbert, one of the best defenders in the county, anchors the defense with Wenling and Mackenzie Bracken as they'll roll out. Emily Caputo, someone who's very hard in net. She wears number 22 in the game, but there you see her warming up. Uh, in her practice jersey as Caputo. A super sophomore has been fantastic, was a backup behind Nicole Minnelli a season ago, also 68 saves on the season, and was big in the win over Carl Place. It's Beth Page and Fort Washington, and we'll have starting lineups and the first face-off when we return on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. I'm Dr. Ajay Tadaki, and I'm an orthopedic surgeon at North Wall Health Syosset Hospital. I'm a specialist in sports medicine and treat injuries of the shoulder, elbow, hip, and knee. Specifically, I see patients that have injuries to their shoulder at all levels. That means I see high school athletes that suffer from injuries such as shoulder dislocations, to older patients who have tears of the rotator cuff and have arthritis that may need shoulder replacements. I aim to restore each patient to their highest level of function. That means that we can proceed with non-operative treatments such as physical therapy and injections, all the way to doing surgeries so that shoulders that are dislocating are now stable and that shoulders that have arthritis or rotator cuff tears no longer have pain and are as optimized as possible. I'm happy to see any patient and allow them to tell me about what level of activity they want to get back to. I see patients at Woodbury, Belmore, and Great Neck. The Long Island Lacrosse Showcase has been the premier recruiting event in the nation for over a decade. Led by high school coaches in Nassau and Suffolk counties, our event annually draws the biggest and best college coaches. Past participants and MVPs have been Joey Spelina, Mac O'Keefe, and Xavier Arline. Registration is now open for this must-attend summer event. Register now at lilacshowcase.com and follow us on Instagram at lilacshowcase. And coming this fall, for the first time, our Girls Showcase. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for upcoming schedules and content, and on social media at Varsity Media. Now is the time to order a college recruiting video with Varsity Media. College recruiting videos can save thousands of dollars on college tuition and help land a spot on the team. Our videos include your best plays set to music with spot shadowing effects to help you stand out from the competition. Contact Varsity Media today and mention this ad to save 15%. Call 516-403-2050 or email jeff at varsitymedia.net. Varsity Media offers live sportscasts for any event. Our productions include announcers, multiple camera angles, graphics, instant replay, and so much more. Hankinson getting it back. Hankinson going in, dropping it back. The shot of the goal! That's it! That's it! Norton! Norton! Pittsburgh, the Class 8 champions! If you want to enhance your event or make the experience better for your viewers, reach out to Varsity Media today and learn more about our live sportscast. Contact Varsity Media at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Varsity Media offers live streaming, videography, and photography services for all teams and individuals of all ages. In business since 2010, we are the trusted source when it comes to sports media coverage. If you have a big game that needs to be filmed or live streamed, or an athlete in need of action photography, reach out today and save 15% when you mention this ad. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Are you a local business looking to advertise? Well, Varsity Media is the perfect place for you. We offer affordable rates both inside our live stream broadcast 
and through our social media channels. With coverage all over Long Island targeting the 16 to 54 demographic, why not take advantage and advertise today? For pricing and inventory availability, contact us today at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. I'm Dr. Ajay Padaki, and I'm an orthopedic surgeon at North Wall Health Syosset Hospital. I'm a specialist in sports medicine and treat injuries of the shoulder, elbow, hip, and knee. Specifically, I see patients that have injuries to their shoulder at all levels. That means I see high school athletes that suffer from injuries such as shoulder dislocations, to older patients who have tears of the rotator cuff and have arthritis that may need shoulder replacements. I aim to restore each patient to their highest level of function. That means that we can proceed with non-operative treatments such as physical therapy and injections all the way to doing surgeries so that shoulders that are dislocating are now stable and that shoulders that have arthritis or rotator cuff tears no longer have pain and are as optimized as possible. I'm happy to see any patient and allow them to tell me about what level of activity they want to get back to. I see patients at Woodbury, Belmore, and Great Neck. The Long Island Lacrosse Showcase has been the premier recruiting event in the nation for over a decade. Led by high school coaches in Nassau and Suffolk counties, our event annually draws the biggest and best college coaches. Past participants and MVPs have been Joey Spelina, Mac O'Keefe, and Xavier Arline. Registration is now open for this must-attend summer event. Register now at lilacshowcase.com and follow us on Instagram at lilacshowcase. And coming this fall, for the first time, our Girls Showcase. Back here at Beth Page High School, it is a full athletic day here at the high school. The baseball team is uh, getting ready on the field to our right. Softball is practicing, and of course, we've got girls across here today. Port Washington and Beth Page, a conference two matchup, and let's take a look at the standings in conference two, how they shake out, and you know, in a blink of an eye. The end of the season right around the corner. Locust Valley and Farmingdale leading the way with a 4-2 record. Port Washington, though, doesn't have the tiebreaker, so that's why they're in third place. Lindbrook, Beth Page, Oceanside, Calhoun, Mepham, Plain Edge, and Carl Place. And speaking of both of these head coaches, they said that Calhoun, definitely a lot better than their 1-2 conference record. Lindbrook leads the way with 10 overall wins, but only three of those count in conference two. So that's Beth Page and Port Washington as we get ready for the first face-off here at Beth Page. It's going to be a fun one. Emily Herbert, there you see the senior, came in as an eighth grader. Her freshman year was the COVID season, so didn't get as much playing time, uh, but has certainly made the most out of what time she's had. Flanked by Lily Capobianco, as will be Catherine Carmen. for the opening face-off against Mary-Kate Noraki. Noraki a senior, Carmen a sophomore. Vikings and Golden Eagles on a sunny Monday, May afternoon in Nassau County. We're just waiting to dot the T's and cross the I's. One of these days we'll have a broadcast that goes off right on time. A girls lacrosse game that actually goes off on time. One day. It's not today, but one day. No, it's funny, this is just gonna be a ground ball anyway. But anyway, Beth Page wins it out of the air, so shows how much I know. And here's Herbert, 13 points on the season, galloping up, and now starts it off for the Golden Eagles. Five and four overall, three and one in conference two, coming off a 12-5 victory over Carl Place. Alyssa Kildare said that the team is finally starting to figure it out, and they're starting to figure it out 
from themselves. And what that means is that they're generating their own offense. They don't get too high. They don't get too low. And they realize that they're a team that's going to determine their own outcomes and can't sit around and wait for other teams to make adjustments or not make adjustments. As Herbert tries to penetrate. And now swung around behind the cage. This is Madison Traversa, 16 points on the year, 11 goals, as she's flanked by Taylor Shore, the junior. Grace Miller, only a freshman, came in as an eighth grader. As the ball goes off to the far side, and it's Herbert again. Herbert with a jab step, dodging. To the cutter, and then a foul. As Noraki got upended from behind. Noraki, one of two Norakis on the team. Colleen Noraki, the sister. And this is Mary Kate looking to open up the scoring. Swings it far side. Shot and a save by Hayes Hassett. Well, we mentioned in the open that Hassett is brand new to the goalie life. And of course, it's not an easy position. But Pam Giordano says she's very coachable, somebody who's willing to learn, and someone who was seen as going into the, be the backup as the first shot of the game for Port Washington Falls. It's Lily Capabianco, her 13th goal of the year, and the Vikings lead at 1-0 on the road. We're just talking about the athleticism that Hassett had. Well, Capabianco, a two-sport athlete, showing off the sprinting skills, gets all the way down the field and beats Caputo for the first goal of the afternoon, Kappa Bianco, of course, an all-county selection in basketball and making her presence felt with the first goal of the afternoon. It's one minute and 51 seconds into this contest. And this is Carmen, floats it over. And it's Ella Kane, another two-sport athlete, basketball player as well. As Natalie DeMeo sets up shop. Sienna Fox, 35 points coming into today. Leaves it off to Kappa Bianco. Bianco rifles a shot and scores. Oh, what a crafty move. Kappa Bianco, a laser with the first two goals of the contest in Port Washington with a 2 0 lead early on. As Kappa Bianco got some space. Not really getting a lot of space. Brianna Wendling was all over her. What a goal. Number one, Carmen, the goal is on the pitch. Four. Nothing for Washington. For Fort Washington. Beth Page the other way. This is Wendling. Wendling checked by Olivia Tessman. As Beth Page. With a couple of haymakers thrown their way through the first three minutes of this contest, trail it 2-0. Remember, Port Washington, 19 goals in the victory over Plain Edge. They were tied with Plain Edge, 11-11 at the half. And there's the first goal. Madison Traversa scores her 12th of the year, and that cuts the lead down to two to one. So Traversa, with those eyes so deceiving, looked like she was going to pass, turned the shoulder, fired the shot, and that made it 2-1. That's page four, scored by number 23, Madison Traversa. Time to go 21-49. Well, as we go back to the faceoff, 
Washington. It's Carmen again. And Beth Page awarded possession. Grace Miller dangling. Shifts over far side. It's Caroline O'Connell, the freshman, with four points on the season. All of them goals. Traversa. Ducks to Miller. And now Wendling. Port Washington has been, not experimenting would be the right word, but they've been changing up their defense. They've at times played a lot of man-to-man. -man. They've gone to zone, and they've had to make adjustments throughout the way. It's been a long learning curve for Pam Giordano's crew, but she said that the team very coachable this year. They've been uh, up to the task, and certainly want to get better on defense and this is a team that has many aspirations to win a title and they know that they're going to have to buy in on defense and there's a turnover right there as Catherine Carmen will start it off up the field Kappa Bianco and spins it out to Maggie Cassidy Four goals, four point, uh, four assists for Maggie Cassidy. One of two Cassidy's in the starting lineup. Maggie and Esperanza. Who goes by Espy? And there's Maggie back up top to Carmen. And there's another goal. Down underneath, it's Catherine Carmen and a 3-1 lead for Port Washington. What a nice finish for Carmen, who flips it past Caputo. And Port Washington has come out firing. Port Washington's goal scored by number in the first one, half. Catherine Carmen, her second of the game at 1958. Check that. That's Carmen's second of the game. I apologize for misspeaking earlier. Carmen had the goal that made it 2-0. And either way, Carmen with two quick goals on the road. Just over five minutes into this contest. And so for Carmen, goal 17 and 18 coming on a Monday afternoon in Bethpage against the Golden Eagles. Beth Page wins the faceoff. Wendling. The Loyola commit. Wendling galloping down the field, fakes the pass. And now it's Traversa. Feeding to O'Connell from X and spins around up top. Beth Page, a team that has done a really good job of dealing with the ebbs and flows this season and back-to-back 12-5 victories. Their last one coming against Carl Place. And sees Port Washington as a team that they're going to have to beat to move up in the standings. But, of course, their title hopes. And Port Washington, a team that always has talent, always better than their record suggests. And... Melissa Kildare, very complimentary of Giordano, who's only in her second season at the helm for Port Washington. She's a grad from Smithtown West. Went to school with the younger brother of Rob Pinnell, of varsity media fame. Went to school with James Pinnell. Whistle. Free spot for Beth Page. Nicole Ducks, the four year starter, someone who does a little bit of everything. Awaits the go ahead. 
And here we go. And spins it right back out to Noraki. Second time that Beth Page was awarded a penalty and deferred instead of going straight to the net. Herbert leaves it off to Paggio. First year on the team for Gabby Paggio, freshman. Someone who can get every ground ball. Fighting inside, shot goes wide. Juliana Talenti. You know, fight for possession. From X in front, goal, tic-tac-toe. Go the Golden Eagles. As they get one back, it's Wendling. Finishing what she started, and that makes it 4-2. They'll give the assist as well to Sienna Fox. As Fox, tough to stop a pass that goes over the top. Nobody got back, and all alone, Wendling. Notches her sixth goal of the year. Well, not to say that Beth Page would have been getting desperate had they not scored there, but starting to get late early. You don't want to go down four goals, especially within the first ten minutes of the of the game. And now we're all set. It's Talenti and DeMeo. Talenti and Kylie Traversa both playing at Mercy next year. Both vocal leaders. As here's Carmen charging down the field. Capabianco scored the first goal of the game. Receives it back and muscles another goal. Second goal of the half for Lily Capobianco, her 14th of the year, and a 5 2 Port Washington lead. Well, pretty feed from DeMeo, picking up her second assist of the year. Bing, bang, boom. Capo Bianco. Just 20 seconds after the Wendling goal. And this is the vision that the Pride are really happy to see with Wendling. Does a good job weaving that pass. Hits the cutter, and Capo Bianco rewards the pretty feed. Capabianco bumped, awarded possession. And it's Carmen, who will run the show, and Cassidy. DeMeo and Capabianco, Ella Kane. And Sienna Fox, someone who had eight goals in the win over Plain Edge. Held scoreless, but goes top right shelf. Sienna Fox notches her 20th goal of the year, and Port Washington is rolling to a 6-2 lead. This is what Fox can do so well. Aims for the top right shelf. It buries it. That was good defense from Kara Wood, too. Sometimes you just gotta tip your cap. Sienna Fox. So a 6-2 lead 
for Port Washington. Just under 15 minutes to play in the first half. And another Viking possession. Capo Bianco is shouldered. On the restart, Cassidy. Maggie Cassidy gives way to Capo Bianco. Carmen now to DeMeo. And this is Ella Kane to Fox. Sienna Fox down low. Capo Bianco has it stripped. Big time stop, Rihanna Wendling. Or check that, Dana Scruggs. Scruggs, outlets up ahead. It's Traversa. Noraki feeds up top to Ducks. Herbert charges. Now slows it down. And behind the cage, Kalen Saloni. Ducks working with Herbert. Nowhere to go for Ducks. She has to defer. Traversa, one of the two. Beth Page goals, and then a flag is out. Tough angle, you'd have to imagine. Traverse is not going to put this on net right away. And swiftly goes behind the net. In front. And Beth Page gets one back. Emily Herbert scores her 13th goal of the year, and that makes it 6 3. Herbert, a good job trailing. Picks up the ground ball. And slots it on the bottom right. That was deflected. And Herbert, right place, right time. Gets the goal. And now just a matter of Port Washington. Or at least Beth Page trying to stop Port Washington. Carmen wins it, flips up ahead. And DeMeo. Swung up top, Carmen. Two of the six goals, her and Capabianco responsible for four of the six, and down low. Who else? It's Capabianco. She's got a hat trick in the first half. And Port Washington cruising to a 7-3 lead. Boy, what can't she do? Lily Capabianco. Left alone down low and buries it. Her name is Lily Capo Bianco, and she's got three goals in the first half against Port Beth Page. Washington Port, Port Washington's two, rolling Capo on the Varsity Port Media Port Sports Port Network. I'll be here all week. And I'll be here at Beth Page all week, too, so that should be a fun one. Baseball coming up on Thursday. But I won't quit my day job either. 12.07 to play in the first half, and a four-goal lead for Port Washington. As Port Washington, very businesslike, coming over so precisional and getting the responses back. With 12 minutes to go, 
looking for more. And here's Kappa Bianco. Sienna Fox. Dishes to SB Cassidy. Fox. And good defense by Beth Page. Or Washington being a little bit more deliberate with a four goal lead on the road as Beth Page will now have to press. DeMeo tries to work with a screen. Bounces off her defender. Flag is out for the shot. And then a free shot upcoming on the cross check. DeMeo against Caputo. DeMeo rips it and scores. She beats Caputo, and Port Washington leads it 8-3 in the first half. Timeout, Golden Eagles. And the Golden Eagles will take a timeout, and we'll take one as well. It's all Vikings on the road, 10-16 to go in the first half. Natalie DeMeo beating the keeper to give Port Washington a five-goal edge on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for upcoming schedules and content and on social media at Varsity Media. Are you a local business looking to advertise? Well, Varsity Media is the perfect place for you. We offer affordable rates both inside our live stream broadcast and through our social media channels. With coverage all over Long Island targeting the 16 to 54 demographic, why not take advantage and advertise today? For pricing and inventory availability, contact us today at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Back here on the Varsity Media Sports Network, it is Port Washington with an 8-3 lead over Beth Page on the road as this has been a good Conference 2 girls lacrosse matchup and... Let's take a look at the rankings here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Bayport, Blue Point, Ward, Melville, and Northport. I mean, we want to talk about even North Shore, too, who we'll see next Monday against Southside at Southside on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Rounded out by Garden City, Wantaw, St. Anthony's, Cold Spring Harbor, West Hampton, William Floyd. Cold Spring Harbor had a game against John Jay. Uh, it was the Gains for Brains uh Gains for Brains annual uh, showcase event and unfortunately was uh, rained out due to the weather. So uh, not sure when the makeup date will be, but obviously follow along uh, Cold Spring Harbor on social media to see if there's going to be any uh, recompense after that. West Hampton, William Floyd, Manhasset, Mount Sinai, who is in action right now on the Varsity Media Sports Network. So when you are finished with this game and are watching on demand, be sure to give them a look as they take on Sayville, who's currently right behind them in the rankings. They're taking on the Golden Flashes today. Massapequa, West Islip, and then regular Islip. Round out the order. And this is what we have coming up. Two more girls lacrosse games on the Varsity Media Sports Network. There's North Shore and Southside. And then St. Anthony's against Manhasset. That should be a fun one as well. St. Anthony's we saw with a big victory right here on Varsity Media against Sacred Heart. That's always a good Catholic school matchup and what probably will be the final in the NSCHSAA. They take on a top public school and a top 11 program in Manhasset as Alyssa Kildare trying to inspire her team and 
get it back, and you have to think about it as one goal at a time. You score a goal, and you have to get a stop. And kind of just slow it down as Kildare and her team looking to pick up their fourth conference win of the season. Natalie DeMeo, future Hofstra pride, scored the last goal for Port Washington. the center draw. 10-16 remaining in the first half. As DeMeo muscles it away, Carmen plucks it out of the air. And Port Washington picking, with, picking up right where they left off. Lily Capabianco with a hat trick in the first half. Her and Catherine Carmen leading the way. Capo Bianco and Wendling. And now here's DeMeo. DeMeo, someone that's just so fast, he has an even faster shot. As Ella Kane. The all-conference basketball player. Someone who's a great cutter, great on the ride. Someone who's really stepped up and has played some defense at times this year. And because of her athleticism and experience from Port Washington has had injuries that Giordano's not afraid to go to Kane and throw her deeper down in the field and help her protect her keeper. Horn goes off and Port Washington calls a timeout, so not sure what Giordano saw uh, out of the Beth Page defense, but she'll talk it over with her team. 9.09 to play in the first half. Natalie DeMeo's team is sitting pretty with a five goal lead in the first half on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. Varsity Media offers live streaming, videography, and photography services for all teams and individuals of all ages. In business since 2010, we are the trusted source when it comes to sports media coverage. If you have a big game that needs to be filmed or live streamed, or an athlete in need of action photography, reach out today and save 15% when you mention this ad. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. There's Pam Giordano talking to her team only in her second year at the helm for Port Washington. A graduate from Smithtown West in 2014. Leading the crew for Port Washington and Pam is subscribed. You should all subscribe as well to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash varsity media and follow on social media on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. And of course, for all the lacrosse fans out there this Friday, Faux Goal Friday. Be sure if you want to win some pretty awesome merch courtesy of Varsity Media and we've got some other cool announcements around Faux Goal Friday. Be sure to keep it locked and make sure that you're subscribed to the Varsity Media channels as well. And CJ Mangio winning the first one and Michael Hendrickson out of Lindbrook winning the second week for Faux Goal Friday. Only a couple of weeks left in the regular season. If you want some pretty sick merch be sure to enter your best face-off goal to Instagram. Coming out of the timeout, Port Washington retains possession. So after the timeout, Port Washington has the ball. 9.09 to play in the first half. And it's Catherine Carmen with Emily Herbert. Kane slips it. DeMeo again. Natalie DeMeo. It only took nine seconds after the timeout. But Port Washington goes up six on the goal from the future Hofstra Pride product. That was Kane. Dumped it down low. And DeMeo beats the keeper again.
That's the third point of the day for DeMeo on the pretty feed from Ella Kane. Washington, Washington goals for by number 22, her second of the game, Natalie DeMeo. DeMeo now with 16 goals Assisted on the season. Number four, Ella Kane at 8.58. That's 22 DeMeo from number 14. Nine three for Washington. Here comes Wendling. Beth Page needs a spark. And shifted near side to, sh to Herbert. Ducks. Mary Kate Noraki. Drops it off, Herbert fires, save Hassett. Hayes Hassett hasn't had a lot of traffic in front of her, but standing tall and keeping this very good Beth Page offense to just three goals in the first half. But the one difficulty for Hassett this year, the freshman, has been clearing it, and Beth Page takes advantage of that with eight minutes to go in the first half, trailing by six. Ducks accelerates, blows by three defenders and gets the goal. Nicole Ducks with her 16th goal of the year, the four-year starter, makes it a 9-4 game. Good slip move. As Ducks able to beat Hassett. For Washington, it's just, uh, excuse me, for Beth Page, it's just a matter of chopping down this deficit and getting stops, and the goal's a good start. Check that, that's, check that, that's Juliana Talenti. I apologize for the sun. So Talenti picks up her 13th goal of the year. For Washington leads nine points. And now a card That's out against number 24, Herbert. Emily Herbert. Two minutes. So two minute penalty for Herbert as Port Washington takes over. Not exactly what you want for Beth Page. <laughs> Left court. Up top to Capo Bianco. Molly Gober, DeMeo, slices, loses it, but Carmen is there to retrieve. Cassidy. DeMeo, from way outside. Mayo gets it back from Kane. Flips down low. Cassidy in a whistle before the shot. And a new possession and a new opportunity. for Washington. It's Maggie Cassidy. Against Caputo. Cassidy gets the all clear and throws it behind the net. And we'll stay with Port Washington. 35 seconds to go on the advantage for Port Washington. DeMeo gets some separation. Carmen. Cassidy collect, uh, calmly collects it. DeMeo 
fires off the bar. Ground ball towards the midfield. Penalty is over, we're back at even strength. Report Washington still with possession. 5.29 remaining. And Port Washington with the restart. DeMeo, nice move. Swung in front. Capabianco, who is backing up, fighting for possession. Along with Grace Miller, and it's awarded to the Vikings. Up top, save, Caputo. Sienna Fox tried to go over the helmet of Caputo, but Caputo stonewalled her. And here comes Beth Page. Dropped off, Noraki. And O'Connell. Herbert, didn't handle it cleanly. Herbert, nice move, pass Carmen, rips a shot wide. And the Vikings will clear. Jillian left court. One of three captains on the team, along with SB Cassidy and Juliana DeMeo. Uh, Natalie DeMeo, excuse me. DeMeo playing catch. Skip shot and a goal. Espy Cassidy goes five hole on the pretty feet from DeMeo. They'll have to work on the celebration. But they can be all smiles as Port Washington leads it 10-4 with 3.14 left in the first. DeMeo just leading Cassidy. And Espy Cassidy goes five hole. To deliver the goal, Port Washington's 10th of the half. For Washington goal, scored by number 28, Esperanza Cassidy, her second of the game. The assist to number 22, Natalie DeMeo. That's 28 Cassidy from 22 DeMeo at 314. 10-4, Vikings lead. So for Cassidy, that's her second goal of the game. As Port Washington is rolling, they scored 11 goals against Plain Edge just a few days ago in the first half, and now a goal away from tying that. They've got plenty of time to tally up the score. Cassidy. Leaves it off for Capobianco. Here's Natalie DeMeo, just had the assist. Looking for another goal, DeMeo. Rips a shot, top left shelf, she scores. You can't stop DeMeo today, she's got the hat trick. Port Washington up seven, 11-4. As DeMeo just stepped into it. And went top left corner. Well, Washington goals are third of the game, scored by number 22, Natalie DeMeo, on free position. That's and so after DeMeo the free possession goal, Kildare 
Pulling Caputo for Mia Casey, the sophomore. As we await the faceoff. And DeMeo floats it over to Carmen. Capobianco and Kane. Or Washington can afford to be selective. Of course, they could have been selective the entire time they've had this lead. As the defense coming over for Beth Page to help out. DeMeo, down low, and another one. This time it's Ella Kane, her fourth goal of the year. Port Washington just continues to pour it on in the first half. They lead at 12-4. And that's DeMeo again. Five points for DeMeo in the first half. Three goals and two assists. Port Washington goal As Port Washington four, taking four, advantage of the Bethpage defense, they're just not getting over and covering. Four, and leaving that slot area exposed. It's the second or third time we've seen that spot open for Port Washington. And it's tough to stop if you're Caputo or Casey. Final 100 seconds of the first half. Then Beth Page wins it. Here's Ducks. Fire save, Hassett. The freshman with another save. And outlets to Capo Bianco, who floats it up top to Taylor Shore. Shore dangling. Tries to knife inside, but goes outside to Cassidy. Maggie Cassidy. Back to Capo Bianco, the sophomore. Final minute to play in the first half. It's been all Port Washington. Capo Bianco. Working with Miller. Jamail and Cassidy play catch. Kane. Capabianco ducks her head. Now draws a double team. Gets whacked. And a free possession for Port Washington with 14.8 seconds remaining in the first half. On the reset. SB Cassidy. DeMeo. Thought she drew the penalty. She does. As they should put three seconds back on the clock. But one last opportunity for DeMeo to step into one. So they'll put some time back on the clock. Check that point eight seconds left. So pretty much 
Okay, now the, here we go. Now the refs are stepping in. So, far side officials saying that there should be two seconds on the clock. The near side officials. The Long Island Lacrosse Showcase has been the premier recruiting event in the nation for over a decade. Led by high school coaches in Nassau and Suffolk counties, our event annually draws the biggest and best college coaches. Past participants and MVPs have been Joey Spelina, Mac O'Keefe, and Xavier Arline. Registration is now open for this must-attend summer event. Register now at lilacshowcase.com and follow us on Instagram at lilacshowcase. And coming this fall, for the first time, our Girls Showcase. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for upcoming schedules and content, and on social media at Varsity Media. Now is the time to order a college recruiting video with Varsity Media. College recruiting videos can save thousands of dollars on college tuition and help land a spot on the team. Our videos include your best plays set to music with spot shadowing effects to help you stand out from the competition. Contact Varsity Media today and mention this ad to save 15%. Call 516-403-2050 or email jeff at varsitymedia.net. Varsity Media offers live sportscasts for any event. Our productions include announcers, multiple camera angles, graphics, instant replay, and so much more. Hankinson getting it back. Hankinson going in, dropping it back. The shot of the goal! That's it! That's it! Norton! Norton! Pittsburgh, the Class 8 champions! If you want to enhance your event or make the experience better for your viewers, reach out to Varsity Media today and learn more about our live sportscast. Contact Varsity Media at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Varsity Media offers live streaming, videography, and photography services for all teams and individuals of all ages. In business since 2010, we are the trusted source when it comes to sports media coverage. If you have a big game that needs to be filmed or live streamed, or an athlete in need of action photography, reach out today and save 15% when you mention this ad. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Are you a local business looking to advertise? Well, Varsity Media is the perfect place for you. We offer affordable rates both inside our live stream broadcast and through our social media channels. With coverage all over Long Island targeting the 16 to 54 demographic, why not take advantage and advertise today? For pricing and inventory availability, contact us today at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. I'm Dr. Ajay Padaki, and I'm an orthopedic surgeon at Northwell Health Syosset Hospital. I'm a specialist in sports medicine and treat injuries of the shoulder, elbow, hip, and knee. Specifically, I see patients that have injuries to their shoulder at all levels. That means I see high school athletes that suffer from injuries such as shoulder dislocations, to older patients who have tears of the rotator cuff and have arthritis that may need shoulder replacements. I aim to restore each patient to their highest level of function. That means that we can proceed with non-operative treatments such as physical therapy and injections, all the way to doing surgeries so that shoulders that are dislocating are now stable and that shoulders that have arthritis or rotator cuff tears no longer have pain and are as optimized as possible. I'm happy to see any patient and allow them to tell me about what level of activity they want to get back to. I see patients at Woodbury, Belmore, and Great Neck. The Long Island Lacrosse Showcase has been the premier recruiting event in the nation for over a decade. Led by high school coaches in Nassau and Suffolk counties, our event annually draws the biggest and best college coaches. Past participants and MVPs have been Joey Spelina, Mac O'Keefe, and Xavier Arline. Registration is now open for this must-attend summer event. Register now at lilacshowcase.com and follow us on Instagram at lilacshowcase. And coming this fall, for the first time, our Girls Showcase. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for upcoming schedules and content, and on social media at Varsity Media. Now is the time to order a college recruiting video with Varsity Media. College recruiting videos can save thousands of dollars on college tuition and help land a spot on the team. Our videos include your best plays set to music with spot shadowing effects to help you stand out from the competition. Contact Varsity Media today and mention this ad to save 15%. Call 516-403-2050 or email jeff at varsitymedia.net. Varsity Media offers live sportscasts for any event. Our productions include announcers, multiple camera angles, graphics, instant replay, and so much more. Hankinson getting it back. Hankinson going in, dropping it back. The shot of the goal! That's it! That's it! Norton! Norton! Pittsburgh, the Class 8 champions! If you want to enhance your event or make the experience better for your viewers, reach out to Varsity Media today and learn more about our live sportscast. Contact Varsity Media at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Varsity Media offers live streaming, videography, and photography services for all teams and individuals of all ages. In business since 2010, we are the trusted source when it comes to sports media coverage. If you have a big game that needs to be filmed or live streamed, or an athlete in need of action photography, reach out today and save 15% when you mention this ad. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Are you a local business looking to advertise? Well, Varsity Media is the perfect place for you. We offer affordable rates both inside our live stream broadcast and through our social media channels. With coverage all over Long Island targeting the 16 to 54 demographic, why not take advantage and advertise today? For pricing and inventory availability, contact us today at 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. I'm Dr. Ajay Tadaki, and I'm an orthopedic surgeon at Northwell Health Syosset Hospital. I'm a specialist in sports medicine and treat injuries of the shoulder, elbow, hip, and knee. Specifically, I see patients that have injuries to their shoulder at all levels. That means I see high school athletes that suffer from injuries such as shoulder dislocations, to older patients who have tears of the rotator cuff and have arthritis that may need shoulder replacement. I aim to restore each patient to their highest level of function. That means that we can proceed with non-operative treatments such as physical therapy and injections, all the way to doing surgeries so that shoulders that are dislocating are now stable and that shoulders that have arthritis or rotator cuff tears no longer have pain and are as optimized as possible. I'm happy to see any patient and allow them to tell me about what level of activity they want to get back to. I see patients at Woodbury, Belmore, and Great Neck. The Long Island Lacrosse Showcase has been the premier recruiting event in the nation for over a decade. Led by high school coaches in Nassau and Suffolk counties, our event annually draws the biggest and best college coaches. Past participants and MVPs have been Joey Spelina, Mac O'Keefe, and Xavier Arline. Registration is now open for this must-attend summer event. Register now at lilacshowcase.com and follow us on Instagram at lilacshowcase. And coming this fall, for the first time, our girls showcase. Back here at Beth Page High School, it's been all Port Washington as we begin the second half on the Varsity Media Sports Network. As Port Washington leads it 12 to four. Natalie DeMeo leading the way with five points in the first half. Three goals, two assists. Lily Capabianco also had three goals. And as Port Washington, after scoring 19 goals in their victory over Plain Edge, a 19-17 win, sitting in the driver's seat against Beth Page. But if the comeback's gonna start, it will have to start now for the Golden Eagles as DeMeo gets ready to go with Juliana Talenti, the future Mercy Maverick. And Catherine Carmen 
Scoops up the loose ball. She scored two of the first three goals in the first half. As the ball quickly finds itself on the stick of DeMeo. DeMeo headed to Hofstra. Came into today with only one assist. She's doubled that. Now is three assists on the season. And Cassidy gets it to go. That's Maggie Cassidy. As Port Washington picks up right where they left off, just 25 seconds into the second half, they lead it by nine, 13 to four. Nice slip inside. The Cassidy sisters, Espy to Maggie, bingo. Got all of the smiles all around, the family connection. Knifing inside, and there's the goal. As Alyssa Kildare went back to her starter, Emily Caputo is back in net for the Golden Eagles. Beth Page will swing it around now and try and beat the keeper, Hayes Hassett, the freshman. He's given up four goals in the first half, but has made five saves as well. Has done a fantastic job in net so far. From X come the Golden Eagles. Mary-Kate Noraki. And Grace Miller. Miller only a freshman. Sees two defenders, shifts it near side. And here's Naraki, the future pace setter. Playing at the Division II level in the NE10. Cole Ducks slings a shot and scores. Ducks counters back with a goal herself, and that makes it 13-5. Good job there by Ducks. Shifting the eye level. Tough save to make for Asset with a lot of traffic in front. Well, we saw four combined goals in the first five minutes and two seconds in the first half. And it was looking like it was going to lead up to an offensive affair, but... And Port Washington clamped down on defense, did a good job on the faceoffs, and cashed in where Beth Page could not. But Noraki wins it, and off the quick start, Noraki flips a shot wide, and will stay with the Golden Eagles. Good hustle there by Beth Page. That was Caroline O'Connell, the sophomore, excuse me, the freshman, someone who's always been putting in extra time and. Worked on her conditioning over the offseason, but a turnover. And here's Taylor Shore. Shore weaves through two defenders, gets bumped, and a whistle. Wendling takes it away. And carries down the field. Wendling. Nice feed, bounce shot, save Hassett. Robbing O'Connell. As Port Washington looks to clear. And Tessman. Still holding on to it. And Tessman on the restart. Now here's Jillian left court. Left court 1v1. Drops it off near side to SB Cassidy. Carmen. 
Kappa Bianco. Feeds to DeMeo inside. Never got... Or check that. It did go through. How about that? That was just a quick touch. I'd love to see the replay again. Because I don't even think DeMeo saw that it went in the net. There's the fake from Capabianco. And that went in somehow. And that's the way that poor Washington has gotten it to go today. So it's Kappa Bianco scoring the goal, her fourth of the seat, uh, fourth of the game. And poor Washington goes back up nine, 14-5. Poor Washington goal scored by number two, her fourth of the game, Lily Kappa Bianco. Time of the goal, 21-21. That's number two, Kappa Bianco at 21-21. Vikings lead, 14-5. Capabianco scoops it up. And Carmen. Nice feed. DeMeo off the crossbar. Kane on the new possession. Over the stick of Maggie Cassidy on the high pass from Sienna Fox. Sienna Fox, who came into this game with 35 points, has been quieted by her standards. Only one goal today. That made it 6-2. And now the two officials will confer over possession. So after that, it stays with the Vikings. Capabianco swings it far side. Kane. Kane floats it over to Fox. Cassidy to Cassidy, Espy to Maggie, denied. Caputo stays with Port Washington. Fox, nice find underneath, and Port Washington continues the onslaught. It's DeMeo from Fox. The future Hofstra pride, Fox, uh, 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 DeMeo from Fox. Hits the cutter, beats the keeper. It's precisional. So now with the 10 goal lead, that leads to a running clock. by number 22, Natalie DeMeo, her fourth of the game. Give the assist to number 23, Sienna Fox. That's 22 DeMeo from 23 Fox at 1932. Vikings lead 15-5. So here's DeMeo once again. Port Washington would love to put one or two more on the board just to keep the clock running and go back home with a victory. Inside, again, that's Sienna Fox. Her 21st goal of the year. And a 16-5 lead for Port Washington. Fox, good move inside. 
Matched up with Mackenzie Bracken, the Lafayette commit. Now Washington goal, scored by number and gets it to go. And there's Fox. Look at the eye contact. That's what Bracken's watching. And then Fox is thinking, well, nobody's over there. I'll take it myself and score the goal. Wendling. Wendling calls her own number, shoots and scores. Wendling off the faceoff, gets a goal back. And that makes it 16 6. As Wendling moves around the freshman Tessman, shoots over Gober. And there's the goal. That's two goals scored by number five, Brianna Wendling. Right, let's see it one more time. It was a good whack at it by Capabianco. Stood in the stick of Wendling. Who just placed it in the top right corner. Capo Bianco. Gets cross checked. That was Ella Kane. Who got pushed back? No call. Underneath, Port Washington again. That's Maggie Cassidy. What a day for the Cassidy sisters as Maggie Cassidy gets it to go. 17-6 Vikings. As Maggie cashing in from Espy. Well, look again. Espy collects the low pass. Just like in the backyard. Or the front yard. And it doesn't matter. The Cassidy sisters paying in dividends for Port Washington as they lead it by 11 with 15 and a half to play in regulation. Wendling again. So Brianna Wendling with a quick response, back-to-back -back goals. As Wendling once again Gets the go to goal. And a timeout call. We'll take another look. As Wemley from Herbert. Beating Hassett. And Wendling picking up her third goal of the game and not playing till the final uh, is playing till the final whistle. 1454 to go in regulation on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network. The home for New York High School Sports. I'm Dr. Ajay Tadaki, and I'm an orthopedic surgeon at Northwell Health Syosset Hospital. I'm a specialist in sports medicine and treat injuries of the shoulder, elbow, hip, and knee. Specifically, I see patients that have injuries to their shoulder at all levels. That means I see high school athletes that suffer from injuries such as shoulder dislocations, to older patients who have tears of the rotator cuff, and have arthritis that may need shoulder replacement. I aim to restore each patient to their highest level of function. That means that we can proceed with non-operative treatments such as physical therapy and injections, all the way to doing surgeries so that shoulders that are dislocating are now stable and that shoulders that have arthritis or rotator cuff tears no longer have pain and are as optimized as possible. I'm happy to see any patient and allow them to tell me about what level of activity they want to get back to. I see patients at Woodbury, Belmore, and Great Neck. 
It's been all Port Washington over Beth Page after the timeout as Port Washington and Beth Page, a battle of two conference, two foes, and how does this shake out in the standings? Well, coming into today, Port Washington in third place at four and two. They'd move up to at least a tie for first with Locust Valley, assuming that they hold on to this 10 goal lead with 14.54 remaining. And Beth Page still with their work cut out for them. But have two losses. And Trail Lindbrook. Coming in the standings. Right on the center goal, we have 22 DeMeo and number 24, Herbert. And as will be Herbert and DeMeo for the faceoff. And play resumes, and here come the Vikings. As they have taken care of business through the first 35 minutes of this contest. Maggie Cassidy. Rifles a shot wide to the left. And on the cross check after Cassidy was bumped. Free possession awarded to the Vikings. Maggie Cassidy gets the all clear, shuffles her feet, and pulls it back. Smart play by Cassidy. As there's a slingshot, Catherine Carmen gets the goal. Her third of the game, she's got a hat trick. Port Washington leads it 18-7 on the road with just under 14 minutes remaining on a nice feed from Capobianco. Bullseye. Port Washington goal scored by number one, her third of the game, Catherine Corman. The assist to number two, Lily Capabianco. Well, the most goals this season for Port Washington was the 19 that they scored against Plain Edge last week. They have not played since April 26th and now on the 1st of May. One goal away from tying their season high, 19 goals. Saved by Hassett. And here's left court. Up top. Tessman across the midfield. Olivia Tessman. Scoops it over. And here's Maggie Cassidy. 12 and a half minutes to play in regulation. Shot goes wide. Sienna Fox looking for her third point of the day. Here's Cassidy. Espy Cassidy to Sienna Fox. Yeah, as poor Washington has really picked apart the defense. And now just in cruise control as Capabianco checked by Ducks. Pito tracks it down, but a penalty.
So here's Carmen. Capabianco, the two sport athlete, plays basketball as well off the post. Stay with the Vikings. Sienna Fox has to go behind the net, so they'll stop the clock just so she can retrieve it. And play resumes with 10.20 to go in the second half. But all poor Washington. Grace Miller, the freshman. Competed in the States. Cross country championships as well in New York State. A hit before. That looked like Talenti bore the brunt of it. And here's Juliana Talenti. And Mary Kate Noraki, under 10 to play. Noraki spins it. Save Hassett. Stopping Herbert. Grace Poggio. And there's the goal back. Beth Page gets another one. Juliana Talenti scores the goal, the future Mercy Maverick. And that makes it 18-8 with nine minutes to go in the second. As Talenti charged in, turned the left shoulder, bullseye. That big goal, her second in the game, scored by number 18, Juliana Talenti. Number, number two for Talenti. Five, number 18, Talenti, her second in the game. And firing. And Talenti. Trying to start the comeback for Beth Page. Yes, it's Carmen. So precisional underneath. It's another goal. Sienna Fox. She's got a hat trick. Four Port Washington players with three or more goals. As they are playing on another level. Second straight game, they've scored 19 points. And that was Fox from Carmen. There's Carmen, a good job. Knifing through the defense, flops it over. Bingo. And the lead back to 11 for Port Washington. Beth Page given the possession. Herbert stops before charging to the net. Herbert's ready to go. Herbert drives inside and scores. So Emily Herbert understanding that time is against her. Challenging her team to get back to midfield. Try and stop this running clock. As Herbert beats Hassett to the left side. That team goal scored by number 24, Emily Herbert. Our second of the game, both scored all three positions. 24 at 6.55. Time keeps ticking before the faceoff. And it's Carmen. 
Carmen riding along the sidelines. Tomeo didn't handle it cleanly, but another foul. And Tomeo from the outside. Cassidy. Off to Sienna Fox. Now it's Ella Kane. Maggie Cassidy has had herself a day. One of the four Port Washington players with a hat trick. And under five minutes to play in regulation. Cassidy dodging. Cassidy behind the cage. This is Ella Kane. Kane fakes and fires wide. And Kane from the eight meter. And pulls it back wisely. Up 10, running clock. No need to push the agenda. But there's Cassidy, and there's goal number 20 on the day. A new season high for Port Washington as Maggie Cassidy buries her fourth goal of the game. And the Vikings lead it 20 to 9 with three and a half to play in regulation. Cassidy faked right, went left, passed Gabby Severin, and scored the goal. Final three minutes to play. Here comes Beth Page. Charging and scoring. It's Emily Herbert. Herbert scored the last two goals for Beth Page. 20 to 10 with 240 and counting as Herbert blazing past the defense. Gets past Carmen, then Tessman, and finally Hassett. For Herbert, that's her third of the contest. And another face-off upcoming. That's his goal, followed by number 24, Emily Herbert. Her third of the game, number 24, Herbert. DeMeo goes down. Takes a spill. Want to keep her healthy, obviously. And just get out of this game in one piece for both of these squads. Here's Cassidy. Cassidy up top to Lily Capabianco, who was the star of the first half. Final 90 seconds to play. Capabianco slips it. DeMeo falls for the second time in the possession and gets awarded the penalty.
Kane. Ella Kane, under a minute to play as Port Washington starting to sand away the time. As Pam Giordano calling off the dogs as well. Telling Kane to just circle it around. And final 30 seconds. SB Cassidy, saved by Caputo. Final 15 seconds, and Beth Page ball as they'll try and beat the clock. Down the other side, goes over the stick, and that'll do it. Port Washington picks up their fifth win of the year by scoring a season-high 20 goals in the road victory as five different players score a hat trick, or at least three points, for Port Washington and their dominant victory over Beth Page. So Port Washington now improves to five and three, tied for first in Nassau Conference Two, where Beth Page falls to five and five on the season, three and two in conference play. So that'll do it from a very one-sided game, but a dominant victory for Port Washington on the road. For our executive producer, Ben Turchin, technical director, Chris Sweeney, Angelo Cayazzo, and Travis DeLuise on the cameras, this is John Perez saying so long from Beth Page High School. This has been a presentation of Girls Lacrosse on the Varsity Media Sports Network.